All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching The Fate Apocrypha, episode 15. Uh, in the last episode, we had the kind of overall one episode long fight, which I was not expecting. I was expecting that to go on longer uh, between everyone versus, well, I say everyone, uh, versus uh, the giant golem, uh, Eden, quote unquote. Um, really, really surprising episode. And honestly, the, the kind of outcome combined combo between uh, Sieg, Freed and uh, Mordred, uh, along with everybody else's help, was freaking awesome. And I'm excited to see now. So, obviously, now Caster of Black is out of commission, or Caster of Red. Um, and the Golem was knocked out. That was, uh, it really didn't take long. But I guess, you know, at that point, uh, at the point where it is going to become a mortal, they, they really had no choice but to just deal with it there and then um but yeah definitely looking forward to this episode so as always guys like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want you and let's go into this episode right now yeah you're, you need to explain this to these guys man if you want them to be loyal wait they're still alive they're not dead I suppose that makes sense because if the masters died, then that means the servant disappears. So, yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Yeah, I reckon he's definitely telling the truth there, I think. Yeah, it's pretty boring worse there, Achilles. Come on. <laughs> I like Achilles. He's cool as hell. That's a big wish. A good wish. The Grail's crazy though. It's gonna grant that wish in some fucked up way, probably. <laughs> Khan is smart. Like, he's with, you know, he's about to throw hands, but if it aligns with what he's doing. Bro, I'm here. Here for Sieg fighting Karna, man. That'd be dope. Good question there, Karna. I'd like to know that myself. Alright, give it a rest, bro, of the laughing. Come on. Yeah, I guess that's how a wish works. A catastrophe? Oh no, is this some Thanos, Thanos level shit? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I could be the best mage. Yeah, okay, let me just wipe out every other mage then. Oh, I don't want Archer sniping down the plane. Bro, they still haven't got J Jack uh, Jack the Ripper on their side at all. <laughs> Damn tag along. Wow. God, the teams and the sides to this war are all over the place. Is she physically up to it? Oh, and I guess emotional. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's true. She might just not be able to handle it. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, it was just like a test subject and she was just taking care of it for the time being? I can't believe neither this dude or the or his sister are dead yet. I really thought they were gonna die episodes ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's how it is then. That must be how it is. He was a good master for her, to be honest. He didn't treat her like shit. Oh, <laughs> she's actually going through with it and giving him a command spell. Oh, 
Wait, why is he getting one? Oh, it's be he didn't ask for it, but... Yeah, it's not like he asked for it, but he did help out, so... You've given him two? Wow. <laughs> yeah, Mordra's going to be pissed. Yeah, what will happen then? He's got a point. I also don't fair, think it's fair that she's babying him, though, to be honest. Like, he's involved in this war now. You know this boy's going to use his final stroke at some point. Oh shit, is this what he looked like beforehand? Wait, so we can't have kids? Shit, dude, that's fucked. Yeah, so literally it's gonna die with him then, fuck. Oh, okay, so he's going to use it to get rid of the curse, I guess. Yeah, but the minute they don't need you, they will just boop back to battle. I like how these two, they're like partners, but they also kind of act like father and daughter it's kind of cute yeah he definitely never forgot what the fact that jan doesn't even know what the fuck's going on right now this is gonna be fun oh he's actually helping them wow a noble battle. <laughs> this has been a wacky battle, to be honest. He didn't force him to commit suicide. Okay, so this guy's redeeming himself then. Damn, you tell him, Queen. <laughs> the parents job that's cute <laughs> fucking shakespeare oh my god so assassin was already shiro servant uh, shakespeare isn't but was going along with it all interesting yeah what is your wish shakespeare Gotta admit, he's probably one of the most interesting players in the game. <laughs> I see why he's so interested in him. Hmm. Differing paths. Alright, so that was episode 15 of Fate Apocrypha. Uh, I liked the different parts of that episode. There was like four or five parts kind of throughout. Um, looking at each kind of person's reasoning for doing what they're doing uh, what's going on in kind of like their personal life what their you know overall sneaky plans are um and even like big big dude with the the mustache you know like uh, a bit of redemption for him as a character which is kind of nice to see um yeah just it wasn't uh, not an action heavy episode but a lot of a lot of stuff was answered there i think and a lot of reasoning behind a lot of things uh but of course we still have a lot more to go it would seem uh mostly excited to hear like what shiro's plan is for salvation of humanity i just have a feeling it's gonna be like comparing it to the the wanting to be the greatest mage get rid of all mages kind of tactic though like on some fanos shit like i said i don't know i don't know how that's gonna work i don't know what his reasoning behind that is it could be a very very good game plan but we just don't know yet or i don't know yet at least <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyway guys, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed my reaction. I really enjoyed this episode. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.